Hello, uh, this is Dr. Sarah E. Crow here, and uh, today's video is going to be a little different than some of the other ones I've made. I decided I kind of wanted to just go ahead and talk about things um, kind of in real time as they're going on, and go on about um, kind of what happens in the day of a life with someone dealing with kind of the repercussions or side effects of cancer treatments. And um, I do actually uh, have a part two to you know, my last video is part one <laughs> filmed, but unfortunately it was over an hour and a half long. And I was like, well, that's kind of, I don't know if people want to watch a full movie's worth um, about a video about side effects that you can get from cancer treatments, but in a way it's also really sad because there's that many, um, side effects to go through. And, but, um, today we're going to, I'm going to do two things and it shouldn't be too long of a video. We'll see. Um, I am going to go over a little bit about what physical therapy is like, uh, for me since I have really bad lymphedema. Anyway, so after I talk a little bit about physical therapy, you know, and I'm mostly going to talk about it because you might have noticed this on me. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to do a unboxing of my um, new chemotherapy. And I know that probably sounds ridiculous. I felt like it kind of should be because, uh, well, actually I'll just go through my day today. Um, and what it was like because it goes through both uh, the physical therapy and the whole new chemo treatment. Okay, so I started out this morning like I do most, which is waking up from pain. I, um, a lot of people with cancer do. I, uh, I like many other cancer patients, take opioid pain medications. If I didn't, I probably would not be able to walk since I have such extensive um, damage in my spine and bones in general from the cancer. And um, basically I take medication towards the end of the night that's supposed to last about six to eight hours and I don't get six to eight hours of sleep, so I, I guess it doesn't last as long for me, but I uh, wake up from pain and I'm like, oh crap, okay, well, uh, let's see, it's time to start the day. <laughs> no, um, I um, gather up the kind of gumption to, to get out of bed while still hurting and uh, have to prepare something small to eat because if you... For a lot of people, not everyone, but if you take opioid pain medications on an empty stomach, for a lot of people, it gives you nausea and uh, basically go from that, wait for it to kind of kick in, try to do my kind of morning tasks that need to get done, uh, take a shower, things like that. And I knew that I was going to be getting a call from a specialty pharmacist. And so... So, um, I, the, the reason why I had to actually even talk to this specialty pharmacist is because I'm being put on a new type of chemo. Uh, what I was last on apparently was not working for me and, um, and it just, it sucks cause <laughs> it seems like every time I talk on here, um, something horrible happens and. Right now, um, my cancer is, is still spreading and um, I'm having, you know, a lot of issues with it. Um, not just the issues that I talk about already, but it's spreading in my lungs, well, my left lung so far. And um, it uh, seems like it's doing it by quite a bit. <laughs> um, and so it's, it's going kind of fast right now. So... They're like, well, we really need to get you on something different because what you're on right now is just not working. And so I was like, yeah, sounds like a good idea. And um, so 
I talked with the pharmacist, and these phone calls actually are pretty important because when it comes to the specialty pharmacists, uh, they really go into detail on everything that you need to know um, about these medications. And if you have any questions, they are usually, at least from what I've dealt with, uh, very knowledgeable, very helpful. They don't get mad if you ask questions, <laughs> uh, no matter how many questions. And um, they're able to explain everything that you need to know. And you do usually need to know a lot of things um, about these medications. Um, for some, you know, it might be something as simple as just the foods that you can't eat. Like, a lot you can't have grapefruit on, but I know that's common in a lot of um, different medications. I know that for this one that I'm going to be put on next, I'm not supposed to uh, have certain heartburn medications. That's basically the main thing for this one. And then, like, for other ones, you can't have... You know, like, it's some, some are strange. Like, uh, there was something I was on where I had to make sure I didn't get too much vitamin K because it could lead to me having really bad blood clots. And so, like, it really kind of stinks because a lot of times, a lot of the foods that you can't have on some of these medications are actually ones that are pretty healthy for you. And so you have to, like, watch out for that. And so, like, <laughs> I don't know, and it's hard to explain that to people that are like, well, but shouldn't you be eating this because you have cancer, blah, blah, And I'm like, well, I'm gonna, if I eat that, I'll, you know, I'll get a blood clot and, you know, kind of die. <laughs> so, um, no, I shouldn't eat that. But anyway, um, this specialty pharmacist was nice and explained everything to me. Um, what I'm going to be on, though, um, one thing you have to realize is, any kind of chemo, even if it's in pill form, you know, is is harsh on your body. And whenever I do the unboxing here in a couple minutes or so, uh, you'll you'll notice something that is uh, actually quite disturbing. Um, but I'll let you wait to see that. Uh, anyway, so what I'm gonna have to do with this particular one is I'm gonna be taking nine pills a day just of the chemotherapy um i'm also gonna have to take you know <laughs> other pills like um anti-nausea ones my uh, pain meds um my anxiety meds <laughs> my you know things like that so yeah nine pills a day and it's supposed to be five in the morning and four um at night and I haven't actually looked at the pills yet, so I don't know how big they are, what they look like, or anything like that. But, um, yeah, because they, they got here the same day, actually. So, I get, they, they, really, these specialty pharmacies, I guess, since they are working with, you know, well, oncologists don't always care, but these specialty pharmacists are really good about um, making sure to not only answer your questions, but to, to get you your meds at, like, the correct time. Like, when I've had problems, you know, getting my pain meds at pharmacies and things like that, but I really haven't had problems getting any kind of um, specialty uh, kind of chemo uh, pills at all, except for whenever, you know, I had the one doctor's under investigation uh, actually actively uh, decide to not give me any medication and to take away my medications uh but not dealing with that anymore so that's good but uh yeah it's gonna be nine pills a day and not only that I mean, it's gonna be nine pills a day for two weeks straight and then i have to take a week off and then i go back to taking nine pills a day for two weeks and then i take a week off because these medications even though they're in pill form and you know, I hopefully, most likely, won't lose my hair and things like that, uh, are, are still extremely, extremely harsh on your body. Um, I'm kind of worried about some of the side effects that I was told about could happen, but I won't go over all those right now. I'll put some of those in the side effects video <laughs> that'll come out soon that I will shorten, but make, I don't know, I, I'll make it better somehow. Anyway, so I talked with her for a very long time. Uh, and I didn't expect the medications to get here today, but they did. Um, but shortly after getting off the phone with her, my mother got here, 
and she goes with me to my physical therapy because when I go to physical therapy, I end up coming out like this. <laughs> and I have, and my arm isn't this big. Um, there's multiple layers of, of wrapping and everything there. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Anyway, so when I go to physical therapy, it's, I first have to do some arm exercises. Well, first I talk to the physical therapist and she asks me questions and I talk to her about how things are going and, you know, if anything's hurting, if anything seems like it's getting better, blah, 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 kind of a general spiel. And then I do a few arm exercises and then I have like a lymphatic massage, which I actually don't like massages. Like, so for me, I don't really care for it, but some people might like it. <laughs> and, and then after that's done... Um, which that does take a while actually. Um, it's supposed to stimulate kind of the lymphatic system um, to get things kind of rolling uh, so that it's all the buildup of all the lymph and everything else can kind of filter out. Anyway, so after they do that, they have to wrap me up. That takes a while too. And oh gosh, life is hard when you when you, it's hard enough when you have lymphedema and neuropathy in your arm, but when you're wrapped up like this, <laughs> it's real hard. I've knocked over two drinks today, like, and not like alcoholic drinks or anything. I'm talking like one was a tea and one, you know, one was a Coke and I'm just, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to, and then cleaning them up is hard when it's just one arm. It's, it's difficult. <laughs> but, um, anyway, after that... Um, just, I was with my mom and hung out with her for a little bit and then tried to, uh, typing is really hard when you just have one hand, but I, like I said, since I have neuropathy and lymphedema in this arm, uh, I pretty much type one-handed anyway, it seems like, or in weird kind of, I find new adaptive ways. When you have cancer or side effects from cancer, you really do... Uh, it, it, you do have to learn to how to adapt if you don't know how to already. I've I've actually been pretty good. Uh, I'm a pretty adaptive person, I guess. You know, throw me in any situation, I'll figure something out. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a little bit open, but that <laughs> we're gonna do an unboxing. So, see the unboxing time, everybody. I'm interested to see. What my new regimen's gonna look like, are you? <laughs> no, but here's... Well, first of all, part of it's in here. But the main reason why I wanted... I don't know if that's a big thing here. I wanted to unbox in front of you guys was this. This is what I have to take. Two weeks on, and then stop for a week, and then go back two weeks, and then stop, and then go back two weeks. Look at how healthy that looks. <laughs> you know, um, it's scary. You know, the first time I got a chemo, um, an oral chemo in the mail, I, I saw it and I was just like, what? <laughs> like, I'm putting this in my body, but I mean, they are toxins, and they are dangerous, and they do have side effects, so it does make sense. If I, after I touch the pills that I'm putting inside my body, I should wash my hands. She said it's not a huge deal if you don't get to, but you should every time. And then if for some reason I can't uh, take them myself and I need someone to help dispense them to me they should wear gloves so this is dangerous stuff and when people act like oh yeah it's, it's pill like everything's so much better now all the you know uh, treatments are so much better now you're telling me this this is this is healthy this is better <laughs> it's scary <laughs> And uh, also, uh, at one of the hospitals that I used to go to, I don't think it has it at all of them, but um, there are even signs. I should try to put a picture up of this. So 
I did take a picture at one point because I was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy. But um, in the bathrooms, uh, it was it was a cancer center, so there were people, many people who had all different types of cancer there. And um, the bathroom, and, and not everyone there had cancer either. You know, people visiting and all different things like that. But um, if you, it asked that if you had cancer to and you were on chemotherapy to please make sure to flush more than once because apparently this stuff is just so dangerous that we just don't want to get near anybody healthy but you know uh, I guess it kills the cancer because it kills everything so okay these aren't as big as I thought they would be actually they're um, but nine of them Nine a day, that's going to be a little rough. It will be coming to me, um, I don't know the exact schedule, but I know that for my last um, oral chemo that I had to get from a specialty pharmacy, they did a good job of giving me basically um, enough medication as to where I had like some extra like you know, ahead of time. So hopefully this specialty pharmacy will be just as good, and I don't know what these are going to do to me yet. Um, I've heard some potential side effects. I'm a little bit afraid of some. And it's supposed to be harsher than what I was on before. And the fact that I'm taking nine and that I have to stop after two weeks. The last chemotherapy I was on, I would be on for three weeks and then take a week off. So two weeks and then a week off seems... I'm a little scared. <laughs> but I uh, start these tomorrow morning. And I'll, I'll let everybody know how things go, uh, along with everything else. I, I do hope this works. It was really scary to hear how poorly my prognosis kind of is right now, um, and how fast the cancer is spreading. I am having difficulty breathing at times, I'm noticing. And um, I might have to get another surgery, actually, too. Um, but I can talk about that later and really the main thing I wanted to do there was just kind of show you while things are going on because I mean it is hard to get things done even just to edit these videos and stuff like I mean when you get this <laughs> yeah and I'm supposed to keep this on for as long as it's comfortable as long as you can <laughs> oh, I would really like a more kind of exact response